this idea of exploitation. For example, we are ex exploiting humans to nature, and we are exploiting natural resources. Within humans, the capitalist will exploit people to make money. If, um, uh, um, if people are not making money, then human beings become expendable. So human beings, labor, producer, farmer, peasant, um, artisan, craftsman, they have all become instruments of making money. Human beings are no more um, kind of uh, human beings. They are just tools, instruments of making money. And if you are not making money, you are uh, sacked. You are out of the job. You go. Uh, and if your pr production is not making money for me, I'll not buy it. I'll go wherever I can go to a cheapest source of um, uh, goods. So uh, if um, uh, British workers are too expensive, I'll import workers from Poland or, or from Africa or from Caribbean or from India or from somewhere. So cheap labor. And when um, English producers are too expensive, I will take my factory to Vietnam or to Bangladesh. So this slave labor, cheap labor, um, that is the, the essential uh, ingredients of capitalism. Therefore, what I say is that if you want to create a moral economy, an ecological economy, an economy which is dancing and inclusive of all people and all natural resources, then you have to move away from capitalism and socialism and you have to create a natural economy where nature is in the center and making money is only a means to an end. Money is not the primary goal of naturalism. Whereas in capitalism, making money is the goal. And, and everybody else is a means. Human beings are a means. Uh, and if you are not making money by making your films, then making films is no good. If you are not making money by uh, producing furniture or producing food, that is no good. So money has become the end in itself. What I'm saying is that money is not the goal. Money is not the end. Money is only a means to an end. Money is a measure of wealth, not the wealth itself. The real wealth is land, animals, people, communities, in intelligence, uh, creativity. This is the true wealth, what I call natural wealth, natural capitalism, if you want to call it. It's a natural capital rather than this financial capital. So exploitation is inbuilt in the nature of capitalism. And even exploitation is inbuilt even in the nature of socialism. Because if you take socialist examples of Eastern Europe or Russia or even in China at this moment, how much nature is exploited and how much still there's a poverty. I went to China. China is a giant economic power, um, having so much money and so much production. And yet the rural poverty there is colossal. Um, people, China is a rich country with lots and lots of poor people. So even socialism of Russia and China is proving that it is not a fair system. Therefore, I would suggest that we move away from this idea of capitalism and socialism and, and create a new system where nature is in the center and we are all in relationships.